Question one asks, what is the degree measure of the acute angle formed by the hands of a 12 hour clock that reads exactly one o'clock? And so let me go ahead and draw out a 12 hour clock. You're gonna have to either draw this or imagine it in your mind if you can. So here we have a clock and at the top of the clock is a 12 that's you know midnight or noon at the bottom is a six for six o'clock we have a nine over here on one side uh, we have a three on the other side and then there's a one and a two and i won't draw all them out but there's a four and a five the six seven eight nine ten eleven and that's the way this clock ought look and they say that it's one o'clock so how would the hands look if it were one o'clock well, the hour hand, the shorter hand, will point towards one. So this is pointing in the direction of one. And the longer hand, the minute hand, will point towards the 12 because it's not 105. It's exactly one on the dot, which means there's no minutes to add. And what they're asking for is the acute angle, which is this angle right here. The reason that they specify acute is that there's actually a second angle between these lines and that's this bigger angle formed all the way around here. The acute angle refers to a small angle, an angle smaller than 90 degrees, and that refers to this one. So now the question really that we have is what is the angle between 12 and 1 o'clock? And I hope you notice that the angle between 12 and 1 o'clock is exactly the same, this angle, is exactly the same distance as the angle between one and two o'clock. And it's exactly the same distance as the angle between two and three o'clock. In fact, a clock is divided into a bunch of even angles. Specifically, it's divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 even angles. And what that means is we have 360 degrees, that's a circle, a clock, is a 360 degree circle divided into 12 equal parts and we're interested in just one of them. So now let's pull out our calculator and figure out what that is. Here I have uh, the calculator app, so 360 degrees divided into 12 equal portions is 30 degrees, 30 degrees, and that is the answer B.